2004 BMW M3 rod bearing do it yourself got the car on jack stands took the reinforcement plate and the belly pan everything off getting ready to drop the subframe along with the control arms and their rotors all in one piece uh, I'll wait for tomorrow to do that This is the setup for dropping the subframe. We got a jack, got a little brick for a spacer, and it's right under the subframe there. There's the subframe bolt. Basically, I need to undo the bolt. Bolt's on each side, and it should hold subframe along with the rotors, spindle, all drop in one piece. So this is what it looks like with the subframe removed, edge mount still in place. All the oil pan bolts are accessible. I need to get that power steering pump out of the way. I'm gonna reach some oil pan bolts. Hmm, not so bad. Big mess though. There's the subframe. Just chilling on a jack. I need a Probably way to torque those bolts is, since you have access now, I'm going to probably torque all my control arm bolts to the uh, subframe because you never can get a good torque wrench on that thing. This is the the rod side of the rod bearing. I am trying to go and try to show you how to remove it. I put a piece of paper here just to help protect it, just in case that rod hits that crank. I don't want any kind of uh, scratches on it. Seems like it's pretty sharp. So all you have to do is push on this side and just push, basically push up on one side, and it should pop out. I can't do this with one hand. Here's one of the caps of the uh, rod bearings. I'll show you how to put the, uh, the rod bearing on there. This is a cap, so it's going to be the red side. Either remember red, cap, three letters, three letters. So basically, you put that little indentation where it is and just push down. I'm going to use two hands for this. And it should just fit like that. I'm going to put some, uh, put some grease on top of it and install this bearing. These are the uh, three wrenches I use to do the uh, BMW 
a 54 rod bearing torque procedure. The breaker bars, when after you do the 105 degrees, you need something to break it with. This is for that. Here's the E12 socket. This my car is a 2004. I don't have this. This is the closest torque wrench I have to be five newton meters. It goes down five newton meters equals like three point something foot pounds. So this thing, the torque wrench goes down to like five foot pounds. Uh, I mean lower than five foot pounds. Uh, and this is a snap-on three eighths uh, tech angle. Helps a lot. Now hopefully I can show you how it works. Of course you have all the rod bolts. Good order extra. I haven't messed up yet. Although I practiced on an old one just to verify the angle is correct. But let's uh, see if I can uh, show you guys. This is uh, bearing number six right here. I just put the uh, the cap on, the rod on. Put some assembly lube on the crank and here's the uh, basically the cap. Just, just want to show a short video of me putting it on it on the rod here. Make sure verify that the number side is facing toward the passenger. This number's right there. Should face toward the passenger. Put that on there. And I'll show you the torque procedure next. All right, we just hand tighten these uh, rod bolts. The first uh, thing we have to do is torque it to five newton meters. Again, I have a three inch the E12 socket on it. These, you can hardly feel the click, so you gotta really kind of pay attention to it. Because three point something uh, foot pounds is really, really low. There you go. Okay, so the next thing is gonna be 30 newton meters. Let me see if I can switch over to my step on. Okay, this is this is pretty penny of pay for this. So let's turn it on. So let's see what's gonna happen. Set off a little bit. Okay, so let me go change this to 30 newton meters. Let me put the E12 socket on there. Okay. Okay, here's the uh, snap-on tech angle set to 30 newton meters with the E12 socket on it. Hope that can show you. So back to the rod bolts. We're on our second torque setting here. It's gonna be 30 newton meters. I'm gonna let you try the bottom bolt first. And I need a cameraman, guys. Okay. So you look at the 30 newton meters, it should just start lighting up. Makes it a lot easier. There we go, 30.7 newton meters. Let me try the other one real quick. It's on, here's the snap on. It's reset itself, so make sure it's on tight. And let's go. This thing makes it a lot easier, so you don't have to pay attention that much. There we go. The next can be 105 degree angle. This is going to be a feel. After torquing down five newton meters, the second torque is going to be 30 newton meters. Let me see if I show you guys here. So I got my tech angle snap on, set to 30 newton meters. I'm doing bearing number six here. Okay, let's start at the top. And the snap on makes it really easy because it just look at the lights. 38 meters, not that much. See, it turns orange, orange, and green. 30.3 newton meters. So let's do this bottom boat. Let it angle out. Reset itself. Okay, here we go. Thirty point four. All right, I'm gonna try the one hundred five degrees next. I'm gonna show the same video here. All right, oh, you can see, I set my torque wrench to one hundred five degrees now. 
probably look backwards in the, in the video. Again, if you have a dolly, get off of it because the dolly makes you roll around when you try to do this torque. 3 8 inch makes it a little bit harder, but it's still doable. Start with the top boat. Get it on there real good. Make sure it doesn't slip or you'll strip the boat. Once it's on there, use your left hand to hold it up there. Get your feet with leverage. And let's go. 25. 50. 35, 90, 5, Woo! Almost ran out of room there. Let's try the bottom one now. Here we go. Go. 25, 50, 35. I went over 108. That's okay. Two more times. On the last one, you don't undo it. So the next thing you have to do is basically loosen up the 360 degrees and do it the torque procedure one more time. Hope that helps you guys. So after the 105 degree torque, you gotta back it out 360 degrees just to loosen it up. So I got a breaker bar here. I'm just going to do a 360 degrees. I don't think it has to be exact because it's really, really loose when I did it a couple other times. Okay, let me see if I can fit this each well on there. And let's just back it off 80, 180, 360. Good. That's a good guess, isn't it? All right, let's do the bottom one here. Start from here, zero degrees, so zero it out, then just rotate the torque wrench all the way back to the starting position at 360 degrees for the ones that didn't know. Right now it should be really loose. I guess let's hand tighten it now. And basically redo the torque procedure two more times. On the third go, 105 degrees angle torque. Leave it that it is. There you go. That's the first video on YouTube that kind of tells you how to do torque angle for the S54 rod bearing. Okay, about to uh, reinstall the suck frame. Got it on jack. The brick gives me a little more height. Let's see how this is going to work out. Oh man, you got to really balance this thing. Go. Lower a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. The brick gave it a little swivel action. I can rotate this thing pretty easily. Mm. Alright, I need two hands for this. Just give you an idea 